Yo, what is up everyone? Tachi here. So as promised, I am going to be making this video on healers and the exact calculations on how you actually figure out how much you are going to heal. Now, before that, I will tell you ahead of time that the numbers in this specific link are going to be generalized for the actual skill tier, uh, which I will explain in a second, but I will also provide another link that will have the specific numbers for every single weapon, or at least all the important weapons. I don't know if they have all of them up to A rank weapons. Back into the actual skills. Now, I'm going to be using Alice's Cleric Weapon as a reference, mostly because this is my best healing weapon and because most people probably have it by now if you pulled. Now, as you guys can see, my weapon has Prayer of Assault Tier 3. You see this has a 3 in Roman numerals here. And the other way to tell is based on the word. I was slightly incorrect before. I had assumed that the word itself was also a multiplier. I didn't realize that the word and the skill tier was at least somewhat, if not directly tied. So there might be some exceptions, but for the most part, it seems that all tier three skills are called greatly. Uh, tier four is massive and tier five is colossal. Anyways, back on main target. So as you guys are aware, Healers heal based on their actual defenses. Now, before I get into this, uh, let me go swap to my support set. Otherwise, this is all meaningless. Now, on my support set, you see right there, I have 13,938 physical defense and 11,828 magic defense. That is equal to 25,766 defense. Now, the fields that you need to populate to figure out exactly how much healing you are going to be doing is your defense total, which, as I said before, is your physical and magic defense added together. The corrected skill ratio, which is based on the level of your weapon um, under level 20, it is 3% per level. So, for example, in my case, I have a level one healing weapon, so it is just a base of 100%, which is just a one times multiplier. So I will put in a number one for the second field. The third field, which is called a weapon type correction inside of the Japanese wiki, uh, we will call it job correction here to make it simple for us. The job correction in my case would be a 10% bonus. And that number is based on this class skill here. Ones that don't say Snow White stage or blah, blah, blah stage. Ones that just say staff plus 10%. Um, you would see similar skills on all other jobs. See how it says staff 10%. This is a 10% bonus to the effects of whatever weapon is prior to the number. Um, obviously, I don't want to get into it, but half nightmares are slightly higher. I believe they're 30% if I'm not mistaken or 20%. But um, for the most part, at least for this one, we will use a 1.1 multiplier. The fourth field that you need to populate is support skill correction. Now, support skill correction is referring to the actual skill type um, based on the tier of the actual skill. Now, every individual weapon has their own numbers, but they do give a roundabout number that will be somewhat accurate on the first page that I will be linking. In this case, tier three is listed as 190%. However, I went on the other page and it is listed as a boost of 178% for this specific weapon. So I will have it listed as a 2.78 multiplier. In case you guys are unfamiliar, a 30% boost would be calculated as a 1.3 multiplier. In this case, since it is a 178% boost, you basically add a one and change it into a decimal form. So in this case, 1.78 is 178, and then you add one to make it 2.78. A tier one weapon, is a 30% boost, a tier 2 is a 60% boost, a tier 3, you'll notice this big gap, is 190%, a tier 4 is also 190%, and a tier 5 is 200%. Now, obviously, like I said, every individual weapon will have their own individual numbers, but this should give you a roundabout number that will be more or less about 5 to 10% off, which depending on what you think is relatively okay. The next field that you need to populate is called recovery support correction. I will probably call this field Coliseum support correction. Let me grab one so you guys have a pretty decent gist of exactly what it's referring to. Now, this 
particular part is referring to skills like this where it's called support boon which is a chance to slightly increase support effects. You can effectively consider it something like a crit heal. And obviously the specific percentage is going to depend on the actual skill. Uh, you can read more on that in the actual wiki. My specific skill, since Alice does not have that, we don't need to worry about it. And then the final field that you need to add is field correction, which I'm not exactly sure what most people would consider, but effectively it's like nightmares and shinmas. Some nightmares and some shinmas will give you a boost to your healing. So in this specific instance, that's where that would go. But for us, we're not going to worry about that. So now we have all our numbers. Our numbers thus far are 25,766. Then we multiply that by one for our corrected skill ratio. And then we multiply that by 1.1 for our job. And then we multiply that by 2.78. Then we multiply for one for the recovery uh, support correction, the skill. Uh, one times multiplier for the field correction. And then we multiply all of that by 0 0.05, which is basically 5% of the actual total value. And we come out with a number of 3,939 healing. So now we will go and try and verify whether or not that is the case. We will go into incarnation and we will go down to verse 9 and try and see whether or not that is an accurate number for the healing. Now, like I said, keep in mind that skills that heal two targets will have slightly lower ratios than skills that heal one target. So let's remove auto really quick. I'm going to wait until these uh, actual enemies or my actual party members get a little bit lower and then I will try and heal them. Maybe coming in here with Jita wasn't a great idea. You know what? Let's heal because it's going to heal. It's going to heal anyways for the amount that I need. So let's heal. And as you see, 3,939, that basically proves that our numbers are accurate. Okay then, but anyways, that is the end of this video. Before you guys ask, Tachi, didn't you say it was going to come out later tonight? Why are you releasing in the middle of the morning of the next day? Alright, well, I'm going to throw up a screenshot. Blue screen of death. That's why it took so long. So, kind of out of my control, but like I always say, if you guys found the content helpful, hit the like button. If you think it's going to help your friends, your guild members, or just the community in general, probably will share it around. Um, also, I will make a calculator on Google Sheets that I will also link in the description or perhaps inside of the pinned comment. Find it there. That should help you guys out so you don't have to do the math on your own. It'll make it a lot easier for you guys. I'm not even sure if this is even a thing yet, but hopefully you guys did find it helpful because that's the entire point of making this series. I will also, like I said earlier, probably, I don't know, editing, I kind of take things out. I will be making the same series for DPS, Minstrels, and Sorcerers. I always forget one of the class names for some reason. Hopefully one of those will be helpful to you. So if you think it's going to be helpful, feel free to hit that sub button. Either way, guys, uh, that is the end of this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Also, a big thanks to all my members who I will have their name in the outro. All of them are greatly appreciated. Thank you guys very much for joining the membership program. Anyhow, I'm out. Have a nice day.